Hey guys, what's going on? Time for another YouTube video. It's been a while. It's been a busy summer filming, uh, but I actually had a t chance just recently, I got back from Panama a couple nights ago, and had a chance to torture test one of the new reels that Shimano brought to the market and that I did a walkthrough of. But before we get to that, if you could do me a favor, click subscribe down below. Also click the like button. When you click subscribe, it helps our videos get into your feed. So when we do something new, you get to see it. But also if you have a comment about this product, leave one down below. That helps us answer questions you may have about it. Or if you have personal experiences with this reel, feel free to drop it below. So let's get to the product. Calcutta Conquest MD. So this reel was dropped, I believe, at the beginning of 2023 or the end or middle of 2022. But this is the newest version of the Calcutta Conquest. This is the Monster Drive version. Uh, the cool thing about this is it's the first one that's had Infinity Drive which is Shimano's latest and greatest drive system, really offers unparalleled winding torque under load, which is perfect because this reel has been marketed in the U.S. as, you know, a glide bait, swim bait reel, musky reel. What I did is I took this down to Panama because the first time I put my hands on one of these, I knew this reel would be perfect for the inshore, nearshore game that Panama has to offer fishing artificials. So we beat this up on Mahi, uh, big mahi up to 40 and 50 pounds and more so even we had some yellowfin tuna shots So we had a bunch of fish. I did a bunch of inshore sort of big jack ravals Kuberas and stuff like that And I want to give you my honest opinion of how this reel did and what I like about it feature wise first thing out of the gate I mentioned infinity drive. So infinity drive is that new uh, Drive train system that they have so this reel here has a ton of torque but because the MD has the XH handles, the extra long handles, I really found that these handles did a really, really, really great job at giving me lots of leverage when I was winding down. Now, I've spooled this reel up with 65 pound Power Pro, holds on spec about 170 yards. I have about 150 yards of 65 pound Power Pro on here. So really a football and a half, football field and a half of line usually is for Mahi and what we were doing uh, plenty fine. We went, didn't have any hard long running fish. We had hard running fish, but nothing that was a marathon runner that was going for the end zone. If you were inshore, you just need lots of torque and power to pull the fish out of the cover. The other thing I noticed, now the casting setup on this, the MD2, is really unique. It's got an 8-pin centrifugal brake system that's on the inside here, so you can really fine tune. But it's also got a magnet system right here on the outside to adjust on the fly. I had used this and first tested this up here, freshwater uh, fishing with frogs with 65 pound braid and heavy cover, uh, just to see how I'll get used to the reel and the settings. And I never had to change my settings from throwing a half ounce frog to throwing a two and a half or two, a two ounce bait down in the salt water. Uh, I concentrated on throwing a wax wing, which I believe was an ounce and a half the one I was throwing, but we also casted out a bunch of current sniper 170 F jerk baits. The thing when you're casting with this that I appreciated a lot was that it's got a synchronized level wind. So when you cast, as your line's coming off, that level wind follows it. And I really found it gave me superior casting distance. I had both my Tranks 400 and the Calcutta Conquest 400 down there. So casting was a dream. When you hook up, what I did notice about this reel is I learned to love the exciting drag sound. Hearing your drag clicker screaming when a mahi's making a power run for a jump or, you know, a hard fighting inshore fish is running, really gives you a sense and a better understanding of what's going on, when you should be pulling and when you should be reeling. So, uh, exciting drag sound worked out really well, but I was first worried about the fact that I'm used to using the Tranks 300 and 400 when I'm doing this kind of fishing, and you know, they got that really low profile side on them. Well, because of the newest S Compact body, that they put on the Calcutta Conquest MD, so it's actually a little bit smaller than the previous gen. I had absolutely no issues pulling this reel. So, you know, when I'd get tired and I needed extra leverage, I'd move my hand up to the foregrip. I was using a, a G Loomis uh, IMX Pro Blue Inshore, a 905, so a pretty powerful rod, uh, but it has a long foregrip, so I was able to pull up on it there. But when I was casting and working the bait, I had no issues pulling this reel because of the S Compact body. Now, overall, I fished four days with this reel. Uh, we landed, I believe it was 52 mahi in the first day and a half casting. And we were offshore, you know, 20 miles offshore casting at targets. 
this reel handed, handled it really well. I even was targeting, uh, we found uh, triple tail under logs, 20 miles offshore at a thousand feet of water. And I was throwing the wax wing at those and I caught a bunch of those as well. So overall, roll casting, overhand, backhand, and big bomb casting, the Calcutta Conquest MD outperformed all of my expectations. The torque, the drag, the stopping power, you know, cross carbon drag, 18 pounds of stopping power. And listen, you can't even turn this thing anymore. I fished it completely locked down and had no issues stopping, you know, Bo Mahi from doing what I wanted them to, you know, under the boat, around the boat, long runs and jumps. So if you are looking for a new reel to do stuff, and I mean, this reel is going to play from BC, a lot of guys uh, throwing big floats in the rivers in BC like conventional round reels to musky anglers to inshore, nearshore anglers. Uh, I think the Calcutta Conquest MD absolutely blew it out of the park. Shimano did a great job with this reel, and I will highly recommend this. Everything from the Hagade body to the micro module gear to all the specs, it's available both left-handed and right-handed in a 300 and 400 model. Check out this reel. It is passed with flying colors, and if Panama can't beat it up, fairly certain nothing living in freshwater can.